Hello, in this video, we will cover some questions which are asked on Python for statement. Before we go into questions, let's do a quick revision of for loop. A for loop is used for iterating over a sequence that is either a list, string, tuple, or a dictionary, etc. The else keyword in for loop is optional and specifies a block of code to be executed when the loop is finished. Like for example, here we have a string. So x will take on each letter one by one and loop will execute four times and print the value of x. Similarly, here we have a list in the for loop. x will hold the value of list one by one and loop will execute three times and print the values of the list. The third method is to use the range function. A quick review of range function here. Range function is used to generate a sequence of numbers. It takes in three arguments out of which two are optional. Some important point to note on range function is that it works only with integer values. All three arguments can be positive or negative and the step value must not be zero. So we can use range function to set up a for loop like this. Do note that you can use range as index and very well use it along with sequences like this. People who are familiar with Java or C++ arrays might find this more comfortable to use. However, Python gives a direct method of looping too. Now let's look at few questions on loops. The first kind of question is to find the error in given code. Like for example here, colon is missing in for statement and also print is not indented after for. Another type of question that can be asked is to predict the output. Like for example here, during each iteration of the loop, i takes on the value of a, b, c, d and e. Since end is specified as dollar, during each iteration, it will print the value of i followed by the dollar in the same line and so on. Another similar question is, what is the output of following and how many times the loop will be executed? Here if you see the range function, the starting value is 10, the stop value is 260 and increment is 50. So this loop will print 10 first and then increment by 50 and print 60, then 110, then 160, then 210. Will it print 260 or not? The answer is no, it will not print as stop value is not included in range values. So it can print only till 259. So the loop will execute 5 times with this output. Let's see another question which has nested loop. Predict the output of this code. Here outer loop executes 5 times from 0 to 4. Inner loop executes till i means it changes its value to 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Since 0 to 0 will never execute, it will act execute for 1, 2, 3 and 4 times respectively. Now the inner loop prints hash with the space as end and every time it comes out of the inner loop, it moves to the next line due to the empty outer print statement with default end as new line. So it prints a pattern with one hash in first line then 2 hash in the second line, 3 in the third and 4 in the fourth. Now we also have break and continue which work along with the for loop. Break helps to come out of the loop once the condition is met. For example, in this code, if we specify break in the for statement, then it will print only till 4 and then come out of the loop. Similarly, we also have continue statement which does not break out of the loop but returns the control back to the for loop to move to the next iteration. Like here print statement is not executed when i is equal to 4 but the loop continues and prints for all remaining numbers. You can expect the questions on predict the output using these two. To practice more questions on python, do visit my website which has many more practice questions to help you in your exam. Good luck. Thank you.